It's always a challenge to shoot magic in a movie because magic really happens in person. You wanna know that there's no strings attached, nothing up the sleeves. So we have to take big efforts to make as many things practical as possible. We did R&D a bunch of stuff. We had to get magicians to teach our prop guys how to build it. We had to get the actor to learn how to do this. Most of the movie is real uh, practical stuff so that the audience knows we're not pulling the wool over their eyes. Uh, but then we squeeze a little <laughs> bit here and there to get that CG stuff. In. I think there are certain things in CG that you can't tell. I think those things we never talk about because we don't know. Um, but I think for the most part, instinctually we know, like I think we're almost there where it's, start and it's starting to blend a little bit better, but like I think we, we know when the weight or the gravity or it's too perfect, those things I think we feel somewhere. So we took big efforts to uh, try to lessen that as much as, as possible. Um, another thing I wanted to ask you about was that, I mean this is a, you know, I don't, this is a really fun, like, you know, fluffy movie and yes. really entertaining, a lot of twists. Totally. Um, but even with that, it still has this slight element of the real world where there's sort of this plot about sort of corporate surveillance. Um, yeah. To me it was interesting that even in this sort of fun movie you kind of can't get away from something about that in our, like, popular culture. I mean, did you, how did you sort of approach that plot? Well, I think I'm a huge fan of the first movie, and what I loved about the first movie is that it, it, it actually asks the question, what is magic? And magic isn't just tricks that you do on the streets. Sometimes people use it to get your money and the three card Monty thing. Sometimes advertisers use it to get you to buy something, make you feel that if you get this thing, get this fragrance, you're gonna draw in girls, or that if you wear this thing, you're gonna feel more special. And, and so I think that question's really interesting, that magic is actually everywhere. It may not be a card trick, but like those same principles are used to manipulate us every day. And that the horsemen are people who know the tricks and are trying to expose the idea that these tricks are everywhere and that you need to pay attention and they're trying to level the playing field. And I think that's really admirable. I think that's a great concept for these superheroes, but their, their superpower is storytelling and manipulation and psychology. And I think that's a very different take on um, how to create justice in the world. So the last thing I wanted to ask you about was, you know, this is I think the third time that you've actually stepped into an existing franchise <laughs> and, the done, third time? Yes. <laughs> and done a number two, the other being uh, Step Up and, and G.I. <laughs> yes. Joe. Um, I'm curious, like when you do that, I mean, how much do you try to sort of have continuity with the previous films versus like, hey, I'm gonna make this, you know, a John Chu movie? Yes, uh, well, all my movies have my imprint on it. Like there's, you cannot help but that's who I am, I'm, uh, and, and, and I have a very specific point of view on things. Um, sometimes when you come into a franchise, they want you to tear it down and build it up again. And those, that's basically mostly been my experience, but continue the story in some way. So you have this like, and in, in some ways it makes you more creative because they're like, here's a box, make something cool out of this box. And so you almost find your voice clearer in that. And you say, this is, this is a very different, rendition of this type of movie than this one, and that's because the one thing that changed was a director, and so I, I, I enjoy that challenge. Um, I won't be doing uh, uh, a sequels my whole life, <laughs> but there is something fun about the challenge of that, and uh, something like this movie coming into an amazing cast, when you have Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, Dave Franco, Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, like you cannot deny the draw of, going, of doing that, and so we just tried to find our own voice. Thank you.